Hello everyone, welcome back to SoSpar.com. Today we are going to be making these little handy wrist, hanging wrist organizers. This was for a client I have over at WatermelonWishes.com. Her name is Gigi and she is a knitter and she puts her fibers inside of that and then knits. And she's asked me, I made one for her last year and sadly she misplaced it and she really misses it. So I'm making another one, or I did make another one for her this morning. And it's such a clever um, process to construct this that I had to share it with you. So you're gonna need two panels. I'm using ticking, but any durable twill fabric will suffice. And those panels are gonna measure 10 inches wide by 32 inches long. And to create that clever angle at the top, you're going to fold it in half, right sides together, and then fold it one more time. And working from this folded edge here and the folded edge at the top, I want you to measure in three inches. So we're measuring in three inches here on the fold and then down six inches on the raw edge and we're just going to cut and that should create these beautiful triangles for you. That's how you'll know that you've made the cuts in the proper place. And now I have no idea what shape this is. But there's basically two triangles notched out. So now what we're going to need to do is head over to the iron and press this triangle portion back approximately a half an inch. So now you can see I've pressed a nice fold there into that. So still with the right sides facing, line up your sides and your edges and get everything tidy. And then you're going to stitch down the sides and across the base. You'll want to reinforce at the beginning and the end. interior the exact same way so I just want to flip this exterior around right side out and taking care not to undo the nice hem that I've pressed in the top of the handle there but I do want to poke out the corners okay and then all you have to do is fit this interior lining in side Okay. 
And beginning at the side seams, align those. And if you want, you can press those seams open. I think it helps a little bit. And just put a pin in that. And you're going to move all the way around these little armpits, I'll call them. <laughs> Aligning the edges and securing that with pins. the interior pinned in place and the only thing I need to do now is head over to the machine and we're using a very very narrow seam allowance as close as you can get to the edge stitch all the way around each little armpit and the, then the project will be complete that's just so fun so fast So it helps to take that deck off of the machine so you have a nice little narrow space and that fits on there. Beautiful. I'm just going to using a very narrow, practically one eighth of an inch seam allowance stitch all the way around. I get to the side seam allowance I'm definitely going to reinforce with a couple back stitches. Threads. 
And I seriously have a lunch sack in like, what was that? I mean, 10 minutes. You obviously could come up with probably a thousand uses for this. I mean, really, it's just a great sturdy bag. I thought if you make them a little larger, wouldn't they be a great produce bags at the grocery? It's so fun. And I'm even thinking, I haven't test fit it yet, thinking you could put two bottles of wine or a bottle of wine in a baguette in this. I feel like it'll fit perfectly. If that's the case, I will post a photo on Instagram for you. Here we have a handy dandy little sack and the finished measurements on that are 16 inches tall about and then approximately nine inches wide. I thank you so much for sewing with me today. I will be back next week with another totally surprise sewing project. See you then.